Hello, patrons of the Orgsburg Library. Today we're going to read a book called Lucy Loves Sherman. It was written by Catherine Bailey, illustrated by Meg Walters, and this is a Sky Pony Press book. Lucy loved Sherman from the moment they met. It happened at Flotsam's Fish Market. Look, Nana, he's wearing polka dots, just like me. Sherman waved his antenna at Lucy. Lucy wiggled her fingers back at him. Blub, he said. Blurple, Lucy replied. She begged Nana to take him home. Look at those claws, they're too dangerous. He would never pinch me. Look at that tail, it's too big. I'll keep him in the bathtub. He can't come home with us, but I love him. Lucy persisted. No shedding, no barking, no chewing on the furniture. I'll feed him. And look, he does tricks. And he smells like the ocean. Pretty please? But Nana still refused and continued her shopping. Then things went from bad to worse. The sign says, Lobster special today at the restaurant. Lucy pressed against the restaurant's window and gasped. <gasps> this is Pierre's. Pierre's has served lobsters for years and years and years. Et voila, that is what makes us special. Lucy's eyes widened. They also taste yummy. Oh no, Lucy cried. Sherman! She had to save him. Lucy knew she had to try to free Sherman from his tank, but Mr. Flotsam fished her out, so Lucy camouflaged Sherman's tank. Mr. Flotsam was not amused. When Lucy changed Sherman's for sale sign, Mr. Flotsam had enough. Stop this nonsense. Lobsters are a delicacy. Sherman's not a delicacy. He's my friend. Mr. Flotsam huffed. Huh. People pay good money for lobsters like Sherman. He's special, a record breaker, 18 pounds heavy and 80 years old. Special? That gave Lucy an idea. She would tell the world about Sherman, for he was no ordinary lobster. She started with Nana and Gramps that afternoon. 80 years, think of all he's done. Think of where he swum. It can't end like this. Then Nana and Gramps told their friends. And then those friends told their friends. He's older than bubblegum. He's older than my mom. Word spread fast around the small town. Suddenly, Sherman was front page news. Please, the ocean, oh, I'm sorry, release the ocean crustacean. Lobster liberation, not in the pot. He's a winner, not your dinner, say the science. Free Sherman, says everybody. At first, Mr. Flotsam grumped and groaned, but then his store filled up with curious new customers, all eager to see Sherman. Mr. Flotsam now knew he couldn't let anyone eat the world's most famous lobster, so he decided to thank Lucy by letting her take Sherman home. But Lucy had a better idea. She sent Sherman to his home. The end. So if you liked our funny lobster story, stop by the library with your favorite grown-up and a library card and you can get a great book that you like the best. Have a good day.